This video will demonstrate basic eye care. The purpose of eye care is to assess, clean and or irrigate the eye, including the installation of prescribed ocular preparations where applicable. Patient education is also included. The eye consists of three main parts, the orbit, the globe, eyeball, the extrinsic structures. Eye care may be necessary under the following circumstances. After eye surgery to prevent post-operative complications, in the care of the unconscious patient to maintain eye integrity, to relieve pain and discomfort, to prevent and treat infection, to prevent or treat injury to the eye, for example, to remove sharp objects, for eye tests such as refraction, for screening to detect disease such as glycoma, to treat existing problems such as conjunctivitis, to detect drug-induced toxicity at an early stage, to maintain contact lenses and care for false eye prosthesis, to optimise the eye's visual function, especially with age-related degeneration. Eye care is performed to maintain healthy eyes that are moist and infection-free. If an infection is present in an eye, this should be cleaned or treated last to prevent transmission of infection to the unaffected eye. Hello, my name's Hannah. I was planning on doing your eye care today. This will involve me having a look and a feel around your eyes and helping to clean your eyes. I'll wear gloves and ensure that I'm gentle. And if you want me to stop at any point, just let me know. Have you got any questions about that at all? No, that sounds fine. Okay. Before beginning any procedure, the eye and surrounding structures should be examined and assessed and then re-examined and reassessed after the intervention. Examine the eyes closed, looking carefully at the eyelids, noting any bruising, spasms, inflammation, discharge or crusting. Look for signs that the eyes are closing properly. An inability to close completely could indicate the presence of a cyst or lump that would require further investigation and reporting to the patient's doctor. Ask the patient to open their eyes and using a pen torch, look for abnormalities in the conjunctiva such as inflammation, redness or the presence of a discharge. The eye should be clear of clouding and redness. Document and report any abnormalities to the patient's doctor immediately as eye complications can develop quickly. Treat the unaffected or uninflamed eye first. Always bathe lids with eyes closed first. Ask the patient to look up and using a slightly moistened swab, gently swab the lower lid from the inner canthus outwards. Ensure the edge of the swab is not above the lid margin. Using a new swab each time, repeat the procedure until all the discharge has been removed. Gently swab the upper lid by slightly averting the lid margin and asking the patient to look down. Swab from the nasal corner outwards and use a new swab each time until all the discharge has been removed. Once both eyelids have been cleaned and dried, make the patient comfortable. Remove and dispose of equipment. Wash hands. Discuss with the patient any changes. Post-procedure, report any adverse effects to the patient's doctor and record the procedure in the appropriate documents.